Alright guys, welcome back to another video today on the Ghost Flash channel and in today's video we're going to be giving some love to the Nissan 300ZX today and to start off by morning I went ahead and made myself a Hot Pocket and got myself a Monster. Best energy drink out there is the original Green Monster. Just, just FYI. Anyways, we're going to be giving love today to the Nissan 300ZX but as you guys can see right here behind me I have a piece of wood and a rolled up item and in a previous video I did a I guess speaker and sub installation into the car so I wasn't too happy with the end results because I obviously had nowhere to mount it as you guys saw it was just mounted and just sat on the back of the car so I'm going to pull the car in today and we're going to go ahead and make a custom hardwood trunk setup get the carpet out of the car measure it out through this cut it out lay this down and then on this piece right here as you can see it mimics the look of hardwood obviously I'll roll it out and you guys can see it I'm basically going to make a hardwood trunk setup and I'm going to have the subs and speakers mounted into the trunk flush with the ground of the trunk that way I don't remove I guess trunk space because it's a hatchback so there's a lot of trunk space and I don't want to just take it up with a bunch of sub speakers so I'm gonna go ahead and start that process go ahead and pull the car in and I'll show you guys the process so what I'm basically gonna do I'm gonna pull out this piece of carpet right here that's laying inside the trunk I'm gonna go ahead and lay this over the solid piece of wood and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark it and basically trace the outline of this then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and lay the trunk or I'm gonna lay the piece of wood into the trunk the carpet's not gonna be in the trunk anymore because the other things can go on top of it and then once I get the hardwood basically put into the trunk I'm gonna go ahead and get the sub and I'm gonna trace it out where I want it dead center then I'm gonna cut that out that way that's all cut out and then I'm gonna measure it on the vinyl or whatever you wanna call it, the rubber mat, whatever you wanna call it, the fake hardwood. Measure it out on that, cut a hole on that, then basically mount the sub into the trunk like that. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I already goofed. Three inches on this side hang over. Three inches on this side hang over. Flush this side, about two inches hang over on this side. And I was like, wait a minute, how could my measurements be off? And then I realized when I went to Home Depot, I measured out that and not the wood. So basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to work with the, all the overhang. I'm basically just gonna cut out this little section right here and then same with the other side, place it in the trunk and see how it looks after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and my boy Jacob's house to go pick up his jigsaw. He's letting me borrow, so shout out to you, Jacob. I'll put your ass somewhere on the screen. Thank you for letting me borrow your jigsaw and I'm on my way to his house right now. And I'm back from my homie's house. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting up this other side sand it down smooth it out test fit in the trunk and then once I get it test fit in the trunk I'm show you guys what that looks like then I'm gonna go ahead and mock up the subwoofer hole after I get that mocked up measured out dead center I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the hard wood rubber mat whatever you want to call it. it looks like hardwood but it's rubber and I'm gonna lay that out trace that out cut it out to the exact size of the wood place it in the trunk and then cut that hole out after that hole is cut out just run all the wires underneath to basically do like a big wire tuck and basically just mount the sub in it and then it's all done obviously safety first and i just realized i messed up so or i didn't actually mess up i didn't get a big enough piece of wood and i realized the piece of wood was to cut up the size of what the spare piece of wood was because you guys can see it's all bowed and bent and crusty so i actually did have the right size i was just tripping Ooh, almost dropped my phone it still fits in the trunk very nicely and it's actually gonna work out a lot better like this having it a lot bigger versus having it the size of that only because it's gonna be a lot more sturdy when it comes to putting stuff inside of the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the carpet to the size of the hardwood flooring and then get that measured out as well. As you guys can see, looks a whole lot better. Don't mind the rough edges. I'm gonna go ahead and sand those down so it's not as rough. And I'm also gonna do a little hardwood section right here just to break up all the black carpet and also obviously so it matches better. And I went ahead and got the carpet measured out. I probably should have brought it over a little bit more instead of doing it on the edge, but oh well, it should still work out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with some scissors. I'm gonna flip it over, show you guys what the mat looks like. And after I get that all said and done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the circle out for the subwoofer on that. That way I can measure it out onto this piece, do the same with this piece, and then go ahead and lay it down in the trunk and see what the finished product looks like. All right guys, so I went ahead and measured basically because it's two feet by four feet, so I got the center point. So I went ahead since it's 12 inch sub, half a 12 inch is six inch that's six inch radius so I went ahead and measured six inches from dead center out to each four point then I did it in the center of each square to get it kind of a mocked up circle so when I flip the sub over I'm going to go ahead and kind of 
get it around this area go ahead and mark up a circle around the sub then go ahead and cut this out all right so i went ahead and measured out the circle and as you guys can see there are more lines that i made in the center so i basically measured from this point in the sub to the edge of the sub so i can basically counter have it countersunk which means i want to cut out this section along right here on the inside that way I leave room to be able to drill it in to this piece of wood to be able to mount it sturdy if you measure out the sub and you cut uh, this big hole out i made that mistake before the sub is gonna go straight through the hole and it's not gonna work So since I am going to do a hard rubber wood type deal right here as well, I figured I could use that because there is no wood under this that I can screw that amp into directly. There's just like padding, which obviously it'll hold it, but not very well. So I went ahead and measured it up. I'm going to be able to use the non-bent section of it, which actually works out perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and cut all this off and then go ahead and place this piece of wood right here. And I'm going to mock up the mat on top of that piece to go on top of that to be able to mount this to that. And then the trunk setup will be finished. All right, guys, the trunk is now finished. I mean, obviously it's not going to be perfect. This was my first time ever doing a custom trunk setup or whatever so it's always not gonna be perfect but i actually am happy with the outcome this was my first time ever trying it and the z was a little bit difficult only because of the bottom trunk and this top little step up piece so i like it for my first try but obviously i'll get better over time but here you go so i'll show you guys what it looks like all done said and done So personally, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, it'd have been a lot better if it was like hard wood instead of like the rubber matte material because obviously it'd be able to sit way more flush and a lot nicer. Now I'm thinking of putting LED lights right here on the trim so you guys can't see it, but it'll flash this way to give like a nice LED finish and like make the whole trunk glow. I might go ahead and try to wire those up real quick and see what I can get done because I do have some extra LEDs laying around. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire some in. All right, guys, it is officially done. Here we go. Yep, we put LED lights, guys, all tucked away. So now the trunk is looking wet. Sheesh. All right, if you guys like today's video on the Nissan 300ZX, you guys wanna see me do more custom trunk installs on any of my other cars, drop a comment down below. Also like, comment, subscribe, and catch you guys in the next Go to Splash video. Peace. Oh,